there's kind of like this crisis of where, where's really your home. Twenty-eight-year-old tennis pro Tunnel Daniel is as global as they come. He was born in New York, grew up in Japan, and trained professionally in Spain. My dad's from Northern California and my mom's Japanese. Went to elementary school here in Japan, but then from when I was 10 or so, I started going to international school, basically American school. And then when I was 13, you know, to really pursue tennis, my dad kind of decided, like, we should go to Spain. This trilingual two-time Olympian who defeated Novak Djokovic in 2018 is one of several multicultural athletes representing Japan on a global stage and helping redefine what it means to be Japanese. I think a lot of diversity here is very hidden. It would be great if the 100% the Japanese people could connect with them. Like most, Daniel recognizes both the pros and cons of having a diverse background. Did you personally face any struggles growing up or even just, you know, playing in Spain or just throughout your life? Now that I look back, you know, you've always kind of felt like you're not 100% from that place wherever you are. In Spain, you get made fun of a little bit about, you know, the Asian being Asian. And then but here you get made fun that, you know, you're part American. And so everywhere you go, there's a bit, you're a bit of an outsider. But then at the same time, you also have a lot of advantages in a way because people look up to you because you're multicultural. So it's always a balance. Daniel himself recalls being teased while growing up in Saitama for being part American and says kids would make jokes about his family owning a gun. Like having a gun, like, you know, and then get, getting made fun of that, like, oof, like that, that was a bit, you know, shocking. But then same thing happens when you go to Spain and, you know, they're, Every Asian is uh, Chinese over there. You know, I think you just need to start becoming more aware of those, those little digs. Throughout his experiences, Daniel says addressing it by having open conversations has helped. Now, as an adult, he's trying to figure out what's next. What is that thing that makes you keep waking up every day and, you know, keep going with your tennis career? Well, I think for me, like, tennis, has been a great like vehicle. Like, I see it as like a, a vehicle that I'm on um, that I use in order to learn about whatever I can about life. The that vehicle's direction kind of has changed now in a bit, you know, a bit. For until now, it's been about oh, like being a professional and achieving this, achieving that, perhaps, or you know, just kind of keep working hard and see where I can go. Uh, but now, yeah, I have to search, you know, more deeply about what, what makes me get up to get to play. So, yeah, I think that's why it's important to stop sometimes and see what, what that is that makes you get up. Mm -hmm.